Hey everyone, it's Nate the Vinyl Guide here and I'm in Claremont, Florida, right outside of Orlando, here at Triangle Vinyl. And uh, I just caught an Uber up here. Uh, it wasn't too long, had a little lunch, and then I came in here to check out some records. And of course, here is the shop. There's Handsome Ronnie there, there he is, who invited me here. Now this is quite a cool shop, nice little chairs and whatnot to kind of sit around in, but uh, here is the inventory. And uh, it's Sunday morning, they've already got some diggers here, which is great. Now, if you'll see, of course, like most shops, the gold is on the wall. Uh, they just got in a huge batch of uh, original master recordings, so uh, you can see them up here. Uh, they've already sold quite a few from what I understand. Here is the metal and punk section. Dug through that, that's pretty cool. Um, some uh, good interesting stuff there. Here along the bottom are the dollar records. And uh, anything with a green sticker is apparently a dollar. Uh, here in the center, you'll see all the classic rock and of course the uh, Beatles and the Bowies and the Dillons all sticking out of the top there. Uh, here's all the new releases, which I believe are refreshed uh, each every few days. Uh, and along the back wall is a lot of soul and jazz, and I found they had some really cool stuff in there. Uh, dug around, and I've got a little stack that I'm taking home. And down along the bottom there, uh, you'll see the are the five dollar records. So. Those ones, or I think they said uh, six for 20 or something like that. So, uh, so yeah, I had quite a interesting stash here at Triangle Records. Of course, there's some CDs, some hi-fi equipment, a little bit of everything. And then up here at the counter, you'll see some additional collectibles as well. So uh, there we go, Triangle Vinyl here in Claremont, Florida. And uh, it's pretty cool. If you get around the Orlando area, definitely make a stop here. All right, so for The Vinyl Guide, this is Nate. Make sure to subscribe to the podcast, www.thevinylguide.com, and uh, follow us here on YouTube. And uh, until we talk next time, keep spinning. Cheers. I've just been told I've got a few extra minutes before my Uber arrives, so let's do a little bit of uh, fun digging, huh? This is the punk and uh, metal section here. Get an idea of some of the titles. Um, oh, you know, there's a dust record I found earlier, considered picking up. There's the other dust record here. There we go. Heart Attack. Uh, you may remember this is the album that inspired Dave Windorf's first band. It was named Heart Attack. Um, and then some of the rock stuff. What do I find here? Ooh, Gentle Giant. Oh, I wonder if that's an original one. I'll take a look at that. Mm -hmm. Why did I pick the Grateful Dead pile? Um, let's go with the Bowie pile here. One record I did find, which was really, really cool. Let's see, where is it here? Oh. I almost took this one home with me. This Hank Mobley, 125 OG stereo. It just had this weird defect on it. Yeah, I wasn't into it. I'm looking for a nice, clean one. I'm being very picky and holding out for it. But uh, I did find some other cool stuff. I'm taking home a. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, the Stevie Nicks, Buckingham Nicks, and Betty Davis. This is a really cool one. I've been looking for that. All right. There we go. Enough of the digging. Thanks, Ronnie.